<clears throat> what up, what up? Just doing a little vlog style here. Um, so, first time I've said it out loud, um, pretty sure I have COVID. And I just told Scott. So, that went well. Um, better than I expected, but still, of course, with reaction, which I totally understand. Um, so far, all I've been feeling is a little groggy, like I just woke up. And my body temperature hasn't been 100%. Over the past couple of days, I've been observing myself and just self-analyzing and... Uh, Monday night, this past Monday night, I could not get any sleep whatsoever. Um, I was tossing and turning and I just couldn't get comfy. And then it wasn't until yesterday that I really started feeling some kind of way and my body temperature just couldn't stay right. It was either too cold, too warm. I'm like, is something wrong in this house? But ultimately it's just my own body telling me, it's like, hey dude, something's wrong. So with that, I have the fever and chills, um, grogginess, like I said, and just like aches a little bit like my body aches a little bit here and there it feels like I just got back from the gym even though I haven't been to the gym in months um but yeah so I don't know how much longer this vlog will go we'll see how it is it may just be a quick two minute thing but uh yeah so first day possibly with COVID who knows um I'm getting tested tomorrow uh I'm going through someone or a service at my one of my friends had going through a service that one of my friends had recommended. Um, it's not rapid, but it does take a couple days, so I'm going to go with that. Honestly, this feels more like a mild pneumonia, and I know that doesn't sound good whatsoever, but having pneumonia before, it feels just like that. Like, my appetite isn't completely there. The grogginess, the chills, and all that. Um, Scott actually ran to Rite Aid to get a uh, thermometer and some more Tylenol just in case, but honestly, like, it's not like I have chest, con chest congestions or anything crazy like that. It just feels like a mild form of pneumonia. I still have my taste. still have my smell. Um, but ultimately, I just feel tired a lot. Like, I don't know. So hopefully with the test tomorrow, I'll come back quickly and I'll be able to get underneath this or get ahead of it. Um, kind of the downside to this is that we have Scott's sister's wedding in two weeks. So if I just started experiencing symptoms now... It could take a couple days for Scott, and he'd be right underneath the two-week window. Not to mention, too, apparently he was supposed to get his test, or get uh, the vaccine soon. But apparently, if you've had COVID within 90 days, you can't get it. So, obviously, I feel bad that he couldn't get it, and I feel even more terrible that he could potentially miss the wedding. Um, I know I was safe during the trip. Um, this is probably all from the bachelor party, but ultimately, like, I... It just a fluke thing. It could have happened to anybody. Um, I pray to God none of the other guys have it, my brother included. Um, and we'll just take it piece by piece and see what we get. I really hope it's not COVID. Like, fingers crossed. I hope it's more pneumonia. Then that way I can get over it. But if it is COVID, go through it as best as I can. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be working. But I don't know. I mean, this is definitely new territory for me. New new sickness to be uh, a little worrisome about, but I'm not going to overreact only because I don't know fully what it is until I get a straight on answer that it's either COVID or not. I don't want to overreact. Um, telling Scott obviously was a little bit of a leap, especially for me. Um, I would have rather waited to know the full story, but what kind of partner would I be if I had to hold that from him? So yeah, um, we'll see if vlog part two comes out with this series, but other than that, we'll see what happens. See you guys later.